All right, so this past season, one of my big projects I was working on, I guess, was trying to devise a new shot sequence for how I shot my bow. I kind of came to realize that I had some issues with target panic in past years. I never had, maybe, maybe I was in denial, I never really admitted to that, or I never defined it that way within my own head, but after talking to a number of guys that have even more experience than myself, I kind of came to terms with the fact that yes, I do have some of these symptoms of target panic and what I need to do about that is change how I shoot. So starting middle of last summer all the way through the season, I was working on developing a different release method using more of a back tension type release and a whole different shot sequence. So practiced a ton with that last year, um, but never ended up actually getting a shot at the buck I was after last year with my bow, so never actually put it to the test. That said, this year I want to practice even more and that being the case, I thought I should be practicing even during the winter, just nailing down that shot sequence, really working on becoming a better archer. But it's 10 degrees outside and there's a foot and a half of snow. So I started thinking, how can I practice more inside? Which gave me the idea of building an indoor archery range. So. That's what I want to show you guys today, my indoor archer range. So let's go check it out. Here we go, to the archer range. Boom. That's it, right there. Quite simple, <laughs> nothing fancy at all. And I think the point of me wanting to show this to you is that you don't need a 30 yard long range inside a nicely heated barn. You don't need to have some special basement with a 40 yard straight shot and all sorts of fancy stuff in there. You just need a target. I've got a target in a closet and that's all I need to work on my archery form during the off season. So I wanna tell you about two drills that I'm working on in this little indoor makeshift archery range in my office. So a couple weeks back on the Wired Hunt podcast, we had Levi Morgan on the show, and he is one of the world's best tournament archers, I think 10-time shooter of the year, and he talked us through two different drills that you should be doing to really work on improving your form and your overall archery accuracy and ability, and it's something you can very easily do in a situation just like this. So the first one is simply drawing back your bow and aiming and holding on for as long as you possibly can. So basically, I mean, you don't need a big fancy archer range to do this. You just need somewhere safe that uh, if for some reason your bow does go off, you got a target. So basically, I'm just going to draw back and I'm going to center the pin on the target and just hold as long as I can. And you, you do that for as long as you possibly can, focusing on just aiming, just focusing on keeping that pin where you want it and holding as long as possible. This is gonna help build up your muscles. It's also gonna help you just focus on aiming. So the second drill then is kind of the opposite. So if the first drill was just focusing on aiming, the second drill is just focusing on releasing. So not even trying to aim at all, just drawing back and then focusing on a perfect release. So for me, the big thing I've been trying to do this past year is instead of punching a trigger, I want to pull through a trigger. So I switched to a new release. This is still a, a wrist strap release, but it's got a really hard breaking trigger and uh, it's worked a lot better for me to develop that. So essentially what I do is I, I lock on here and then I put my finger on and then I just slowly pull my shoulders back until that trigger breaks. This is essentially blind bail type shooting where I'm gonna stand close to the target, I'm gonna draw back, I'm not even gonna care about where I'm aiming. You can just close your eyes if you're close enough and then just slowly work through that release. And um, this kind of archery practice is especially important for me now for my sanity because I got a baby in the other room and you might be able to hear the baby monitor going off in the back. So I'm supposed to be kind of keeping tabs on him while shooting. And that's what, uh, that's what you can do with a nice indoor range like this. So. So basically I draw back, not even going to worry about aiming, and just going to work on getting that really good release. So it's nothing fancy, it's nothing too terribly special, but by having this archery range in my office, I can keep working with that bow all year round. And I can do these drills that are very simple, very safe to do in the house with a target like this, but they're going to help me out. You know, I'm going to be working on continuing to build those muscles and continue on working on aiming and not worrying about needing to pull that trigger. And then number two, I'm working on developing that perfect release. And if I can do that every day, all through January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, when it comes to hunting season in September and October and November, 
this stuff is just drilled in. It's, it's a deep part of kind of who you are. So that's what I'm trying to do. And uh, I'd encourage you to build a little archery range of your own. Like I said, you do not need a bunch of money, a big fancy barn, or any special gear. Just get a target, a safe spot like this, and get going.